Today, this 5 years old girl presented with bluish discoloration of the left sclera, vision and tension were normal but the parents were concerned about the gradual increase of these bluish grey patches as a cosmetic blemish so we diagnosed her as a case of blue sclera. Now first of all, why the sclera turns blue? The sclera turns blue when the sclera gets thinner due to some collagen connective tissue disorder, some other inflammation, trauma and the underlying bluish tinged choroidal vessels gets visible or when the bluish colored deposits are, or pigments are deposited in the conjunctiva and sclera. So now the first condition that comes to my mind when the sclera turns blue is osteogenesis imperfecta but uh, that's a systemic disease and both eyes should be affected so it can't be osteogenesis imperfecta and uh, you should know that in osteogenesis imperfecta there must be other uh, bones fractures deafness uh, along with the bilateral blue scleras uh, we also asked about the past history of trauma because trauma can also cause scleral thinning but there was no history of trauma we asked about the scleritis and necrotizing scleritis can also lead to bluish patches but there was no past history of red eyes or inflammation so the localized conditions that can cause uh, such look is uh, primary acquired melanosis but the lesions are usually golden brown flat uh, patchy areas uh, and they can progress they may progress to malignant melanomas uh, but they occur in middle age then the conjunctival melanomas uh, they are raised pigmented lesions uh, so these were also excluded then conjunctival nevus it is a flat pigmented lesion uh, aculodermal melanocytosis uh, it can result from the defective neural crust cell melanocytic uh, migration uh, and but they appear on the facial skin as well as the so if you look closely on the lower lid uh, there is little bit bluish discoloration so that uh, may be the our um, different uh, definitive diagnosis of aculodermal melanocytosis the upper lid skin was not affected but lower on lower lid you can clearly see a patch a bluish discoloration now the systemic conditions uh, that can uh, cause this alkaptonuria to rule out alkaptonuria you should ask about the homogentesic aciduria ochronosis and arthritis and history of renal stones addison's disease then the collagen disorders like um, again osteogenesis imperfecta heller danlos syndrome and marfan syndrome iron deficiency anemia is also one of the common causes so you should rule out the iron deficiency anemia then the toxicity from the systemic medications like amiodarone, minocycline is taken for rosacea, so rosacea history and use of minocycline is very important. Topical use of epinephrine containing drops can cause uh, uh, deposits like uh, grayish, blackish deposits. Then exposure to the silver containing compounds can cause such condition. So all these conditions uh, should be asked uh, detail in detail history and then you should treat the cause thank you very much